So the difficult thing about this question is that it asks us to draw the molecular orbital diagram for HCl, but it doesn't give us a lot of hints on how we need to do that. So here is hydrogen's 1s orbital. And for chlorine, it has the 3p, which are fairly similar in energy. And it has the 3s, which is much lower. So because this 3s is so much lower in energy, it's going to be non-bonding. It's going to just form an uh, uh, orbital down here. And the hydrogen is going to choose to mix with one of these p orbitals to form a sigma. And a sigma star. The star indicates that it's antibonding. And then these other two p orbitals that haven't interacted, they are also going to be non bonding p orbitals. So now when we fill in the electrons, hydrogen has one, chlorine has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got eight total electrons. Um, two of them are going in this non-bonding orbital. Then the next two will go in this bonding. And then three, or sorry, four, five, six, seven, and eight will also go into non-bonding orbitals. So since we only have two bonding orbitals, that's going to be a bond order of one. We want to make a sketch of this lowest energy orbital. So it's a mixture of a 1s and a 3p orbital. So it's going to look something like this. We've got H and Cl. It's going to have a large cloud here around both of them and a small negative side. Um, it sort of looks like a p orbital that's lopsided and that's because hydrogen's s is going to add constructively onto one side of the p orbital and destructively onto the other side. So it kind of gets blown out of proportion.